Hello guys, and today I will be driving my Mini Cooper around, um, probably changing up um, to get a new car soon because I'm saving up a bit of money. But as I said in my um, video on the crew on Wednesday, my live com video, um, I've got I did I tried to keep into a little schedule this week, see if I can you know get some videos out in order, and on today's video like episode I was going to talk about what they should have done in Forza Horizon 2 and therefore in conclusion what they should do in Forza 6 now I know they're two separate games but there is a lot to learn and this is my favorite franchise apart from a couple of like ones that have just stopped like Portal Half-Life and that kind of stuff um so yeah I'm going to try and help improve this so if you agree with any of the points, then make sure to hit that like button down below. Also, just a quick pointer to anyone who thought I didn't release a video yesterday. I did release a video yesterday. There was just a massive, like, you know, upset. So I'll explain that at the end of the video if you're interested in what happened there. Um, but yeah. Uh, so let's start off with what, what they didn't do in Forza Horizon 2. And this is in both Xbox One and 360. So before anyone turns around and is like, Oh my god, you're just talking because you play on 360. Now this is what wasn't in Xbox One as well, so don't worry. Um, so the first one I think they should do is new body kits. Now, it's all well and good having like the same form of body kit in the game that's been around since, what, for the 3? They came out in like 2007. We're, ne we're nearly 10 years from that game. They should have a new, first of all, Forza body kit. And secondly, they should have a new, um, like, group of body kits. They need more licensed body kits. Um, you know, if you're going to rehash the same game, you need to add improvements. You can't just extend the car list and extend the graphics. It's, it's not good enough for us anymore. We might as well just stick to Forza 5. Um, and the second thing, just while I move on quite quickly, I want to move through this quite quickly um, so I can add some of my ideas in Forza 6 um, the second one is the licensed like parts, now I know this is very difficult to do but like for example Mercedes would have AMG and then Forza spec or AMG black spec, like two different specs of exhaust that one maybe increases your power by a bit, but one increases your power by a lot. But the one that increases your power by a bit has better acceleration, whereas the one that increases your power by a lot doesn't. So that means that with drag-specific things can happen, like drag tires. Drag tires is a perfect example, but it's the only thing. And then in Forza Horizon 1, they dipped into the Rally DLC, saying there was Rally-specific um, suspension. That kind of stuff. We need, like drift specific suspension it's lower than race suspension but is a lot more stiffer as well so we can get those amazing high cornering um you know angles that we want you know we need that kind of specificness and i think that if we were to do that 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 would really help the forza franchise a lot if you're just going to continuously do the same thing over and over again um another thing is a hell of a lot more race racetracks now i know this is very difficult due to the amount of racetracks that we have but I don't know if anyone's played um, Gran Turismo 6. I played it once or twice. But first of all, there's a moon. There's a moon track, for fuck's sake, with moon gravity. So, I mean, come on. You, I mean, don't get that extreme, but they they really know how to like make the most of a place. So, you know, um, for example, bring back Fujimi. That's one of the big ones that everyone wants. Maple Valley. I want Maple Valley back. That was great. Um more maybe fake tracks like those two that are really good maybe a drift specific track try and get all the um the what's it called uh formula drift sections um from america and try and get a lot more british tracks in also i want stuff like bahrain and i want the f1 tracks like all of them like i'm a massive f1 fan and if you are going to add rally suspension and rally tires like to the racing experience on Forza 6 which I think you should because that will be very very fun even though there won't be like many like amazing you can't really use F1 cars on that but I mean it'll be funny um then you know add um cross cross country tracks like the rally cross tracks where it's like half tarmac half rally um and also add just full rally tracks like um 
Wales section or the Sweden section from the World Rally Championships because, you know, we really need that. Like, we really do. And if you're really willing to push the barrier, then we, um, you know, try and... I know I'm talking about what, what should happen in Forza 6 that wasn't in Forza... That, instead of what wasn't in Forza Horizon 2, but still. Um, what you could do is, if you really wanted to, is take some of the best races from Forza Horizon um, 2 and um, that kind of stuff and make them into tracks and say this is Forza Horizon 2 with body bar section in track form because I'm pretty sure like a lot of the races in this place would be amazing to see like in track form just the corners and all that um very cool very cool um obviously one of the big ones that I was disappointed in both Xbox 360 and Xbox One well, um, is the lack of um, cars, but that's obviously going to come. I, I said this in my Forza Horizon 2 review video, which will be in the description. Um, you know, that's obvious. Everyone's going to complain about that. Even I complain about it, though, because still lacks in a lot of cars, especially year cars. Like, if you can do the three skylines, the four skylines from the last four years, in, not including the when they were Datsun, then you can include at least three Volkswagen Beetles from different years, like the th the 3003 or, you know, the classic, like, 63 bug and then the 78 bug, because they're different. They are different. Um, also, barger kits. <laughs> Give me barger kits. I don't even care. I just want to put barger kit on a bug. E either way, I'll be happy. Um, so, yeah. More conversions is obviously going to be another one, but especially... Um, you know, we need four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive conversions to be a thing, like, continuous, as well as V8, um, conversions. I, I don't even care if it's, like, if it doesn't make any sense. I saw a bug with a V8 in it, I was like, yes! So you need to just, you know, put that, like, camper van, V8, um, and then, actually, I know what I'm doing this now. Um, yeah, just... V8 Mini for... Come on, that would be well good. V8 Mini. Uh, but yeah, you could, you see the drift. Um, the other thing is, Forza 6, I think... If we're going to really like push this game... Forza 6, or maybe Forza 7... I don't know. Depending on where we go with this series. Should be a combination of Forza Horizon and Forza Motorsport. Now, what I'm saying by this is you've got all the tracks... And you've got all this, and you've got all that... But you still have the um, the free roam. Because I feel like the people who play Forza Horizon aren't the same people who play Forza 4 as such. And that is a big, big issue. You want a game that takes them both. So you can really like push the boundary. And to be honest, I feel like this as a game that I just described then would be perfect and I, I don't even need to tell you why you should know why by now um th that i think that game would just own ass and ev i would buy it i'd buy it like so much i recommend it so much um but yeah that's my opinion on the matter um yeah but other things that forza horizon didn't do in my opinion was um, you know, it's entertaining, but it loses its spark quite quickly. Like, if you ever played Forza Horizon 1, you'll know that unless you did what I did, in which um, was get yourself to the very highest level by drifting around the center and then playing the rest of the game um, at number one, I did that for one of my playthroughs anyway. I think it was for the second playthrough. Um... It was it was actually quite a difficult game. Like you had to do all the extras before you even got to the next level. You had to do every race um, until the last couple of ones, which is like no, you don't have to do every race. You can skip one or two. He ended up with about seven races com like left. This game, I've completed every single race, and I did the final race, and I still got. I've, I've only done a tenth of the races in the game. And it's like, well, now I don't really want to, but I need the money, and it's a bit like, eh. So it's a bit of that awkward situation where you're like, okay, well, I don't know what to do. Like, yeah, this is 
this is what this game has led to, I think, personally. Like, it's it's got to the point where, you know, we're questioning its aspects. I don't know what colour to make this, to be honest. I would go, like, a really nice red, but I already have, like, a really nice red for every car, so... I mean... I might just go, like, white, metallic, greyish. Metallic greyish. Look at that matte grey. It's crazy. Actually, I'm gonna s no, I can't. I can't check the. God dang it. Never mind. Um. What the fuck is this? Why is there no green? Okay, this makes no sense. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Um, I'll just go metallic black, I think. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I've I've lost my train of thought. Great. Um completely lost my train of thought. That's <sighs> right. Try to recap. Or I'll just move on and then do it right in the description. Yeah, let's do that. So Yeah, I mean like this game is a good game and so is the other one, but you first of all we do need the combination of the two like we need the Forza Horizon free roam and the Forza four car lists no Forza five car lists and the, the the paint jobs and the tracks and all that. What I also think they need to do is add more things to the tuning setup. Now I know this seems like a really stupid idea, mainly because people haven't actually learned how to use the tuning setup properly. But for people like me, who pretty much know the chain, the oh wow, it's just kept the black thing on the front. That's really weird. Um, for people like me who know the tuning setups inside and out from my my cars, um, I find that we need to first of all add more things like tire pressure and like all that's all good. But I want to be able to like properly certify whether or not the wheels do this, that, and the other. I want a di a proper dynamo machine, stuff like that. Just little things like that really help. Um. I also kind of want the this, this, there's a lot of things that I want from both games. Like this has a really not, this and a Horizon uh, two on Xbox three six on Xbox one have a really nice car setup. So it's like oh yeah, performance cars and blah blah blah. But I know as soon as we go into Forza six, they will continue to have um, the A, the B, the C. I think that really sucks because this idea where it's like um, street rivals and stuff like that, it's like. Well, now I've actually got competition within the range, whereas if I go in with a Fiat 500 that's got 1,000 brake horsepower, then um, it kind of sucks compared to, you know, actually going against competition that, you know, is relevant. And if you don't like that, then you can change it too. Also, the final couple of things. First of all, we need new cinematic mode. They've used the same cinematic mode continuously for the past, what, five, six years now? <laughs> It's it's getting pretty old actually. Um, cinematics are even harder to produce. Um, new filters for the the photo. Basically, I want them to renew things rather than just rehash things. I know that seems incredibly selfish, but honestly, we we should have these new things. And I have a car list that I would love to see in Forza Six, but you'll have to wait for that on Wednesday because that is my Wednesday video. That's going to be. Um, I, unless I've already told you what the Wednesday video is next week, in which case I might have to go back and change that. But um, yeah, I want to do my top ten cars or top twenty cars, depending on how many cars I want, um, in Forza um, Six that haven't been in a Forza game yet. So it's pretty specific, and I've looked through the car list of every Forza game, so I know what has and what hasn't been in. So. Yeah, if you want to come back on Wednesday to see that episode, or come back tomorrow when I do my um, GTA 5 Pimp My Ride. It's Today it's actually, no, tomorrow it will be a um, tornado, so make sure to come around for that. Um, anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If there's anything else you would love to see in Forza 6, I'll happily do a follow-up video featuring some of your ideas as well as some other ones that I've come up with, because I'm always thinking about them, always. Including, as I just thought, remembered, 
we need a we don't need this isn't a need thing unlike the other things this is a want for me um jim connor we have um drifting races can we have jim connor races in like four wheel drive um slippery as fuck fuck cars and then like when you have like the rally special cars can we have ken blocks some um, drift car just like is is jim connor car and then what we do is we have like spin dryers on the track and sh shit like that and you have to do that in, in like singles but everyone's on the singles at the same time which means it's like ghosting and then you get points for how well you do it and stuff like that. kind of following from dirt three because well, i missed that game uh, but with more realistic gra um, physics engine and graphics. So yeah. Uh, anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button. Leave a rating down below. And um, make sure to, uh, you know, stick around for tomorrow's video. Which is obviously GTA Pimp My Ride. And, you know, um, Wednesday's video. Tuesday's video is just going to be a drift build. But I'm just going to try and start getting people to... Um, to watch the end because i'll be releasing what um happens in the next episode the next video tomorrow's video in the end of the um the video before it so yeah and also as i said at the start of the video i'll tell you what happened to the um to the video i went babysitting last night so i put my um video on processing well no on uploading and it got to processing and it wouldn't process anymore so for some reason it stopped processing by the time i got back which is like 10 50 minutes to midnight um it just was sat there it wasn't even processing it wasn't doing anything so i decided to try and re-upload it and as i re-uploaded it just as it was getting before um midnight so it definitely uploaded on the 31st of jan um it said that it couldn't do it it needed it the video already existed which yes it did because it wasn't processing, the other video wasn't processing, and the second copy deleted itself off my YouTube channel. So the first copy wouldn't um, process, the second copy deleted itself. So then we were, I was left with one option, which was delete the one that was processing, which it, I would, wasn't too happy about, but it wasn't processing for about four hours, five hours. So I was like, okay, um, fine, I'll delete it. And I deleted the one that's processing and uploaded it this morning at something like 11 o'clock. So... The reason why two videos have come out today is because one of them was yesterday's video and it just didn't process. So uh, I'd like to just say that. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll probably be trying to drift this a lot better than I am. I'll find some way of drifting it. I might lower the power in it. But yeah. Anyway, um, I will see you guys in the next one.